my name is Helene and today the weather is very very windy and rainy and cloudy so I thought it would be the perfect day to do the coffee shop book tag and I have an empty coffee cup with me in my hands I didn't want to make myself some coffee right now so it's empty but it's still very cozy <laughs> Now, I wasn't tagged to do this tag, but I saw the video at Joe Reads Books and I love me some coffee. So I thought it would be the best way to start off the year with a tag video and do this coffee tag. As I said, I saw it on Joe Reads Books channels and the creator of the tag is called Dio Nevas. I will put the link to their videos down below and without further ado, let me just get started. The first question is Long Black, which is black coffee. That is a book that made your soul feel just as black. A book that made you cry. For that one I have chosen Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, the sixth book in the series by J.K. Rowling. Actually the scene that you see on the cover is exactly the scene that made me cry. Question number two is short black, which is an espresso. I don't really drink espresso, I feel like they are way too strong for my taste. But anyway, let me answer the question. An intense book that kept you on your toes or awake. I don't know if this is the most appropriate book since it was intense but it didn't keep me awake in any way. But it is Infinity by Sherilyn Kenyon. This is the first book in the Chronicles of Nick series and a lot of things go down in this book. It's insane and it's very, very intense. Question number three is Flat White, your favorite classic. This is going to be hard, but I did settle on one classic. If you follow my channel regularly, you will know that that one is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I have nothing but positive words to say about this classic. Question number four is Latte, a sweet book that makes you smile. Latte is actually the coffee that I order all the time when I go to Starbucks. Not that we have a lot of Starbucks here in Denmark, we only have one which is situated about 40 miles from where I live so I don't go there often but when I go I order a latte cafe, cafe latte. Anyway that was just me rambling a book that made me smile. Once again I have a lot of books that have made me smile but if I have to settle on just one random one then it will be The One Plus One by Jojo Moyes which I read in the summer and it was very cozy. It deals with a family who struggles and that didn't make me smile but one of the characters made me smile and he was just adorable. Question number five is Iced Coffee. Your favorite horror novel? This is not my favorite but it's amongst my favorites and that is the Monstermologist by Rick Yancey and the entire series actually, which consists of four books. This is about a boy who is being educated in researching monsters and experimenting on monsters. And that alone is scary. If you have any interest in picking up this series, I highly recommend that you do so during Halloween because that's when I read it and it is still stuck in my mind. It was quite scary. Question number six is Iced Chocolate, your favorite comic novel. For this one, I have no answer because I don't really read comic novels. I think I read one last year and it's by no means my favorite. So I'm just going to skip this question. Question number seven is Mocha, a bittersweet ending to a book or a series. The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt because this is a huge book and I loved every page of it and it was very bittersweet when it ended because I really liked the ending but I didn't want for the book to end so yeah question number eight is cappuccino my cup it says cappuccino over here a book with a title that is hard to pronounce my pronunciation sucks I know that so I have quite a few titles but I have settled on one this one and this is the colorless Tsukuru Tashiki Pilgrimage. Yes, this is a book by Haruki Murakami. I love the cover. I haven't read it yet, unfortunately. But I love Haruki Murakami, so I'm interested to get started this month or next month. The ninth and very last question is New Flavor. 
an awesome book that you have yet to discuss on booktube. For that one I have chosen Room by Emma Donahue. I do realize that I have discussed it a little bit on booktube since it was part of my favorites video of 2014. But I don't feel like I have discussed it enough and I don't feel like a lot of people have talked about this book yet. Those of you who have read it and whom I've talked to loved it. So I really want to find more people who have read this book so that I can discuss it with them. That was it. I hope you enjoyed this coffee tag. I'm now going to tag some people whom I know love coffee as well. So I will try and figure out who that is. Happy reading everyone and bye bye.